Hello friends, welcome to this new video. In the last video, we had completed one series on the hyperlink that how we can create the various types of hyperlinks in Excel. So if you have not watched out that series, then please check out around seven videos which I've created in that last series. Now from this video, I'll be starting a new series where I'll be focusing on the different kind of charts that we can create in Microsoft Excel. As we know that Microsoft Excel is a data visualization tool, so we can create different kind of charts. So let us see one by one in upcoming videos, what are the different kind of charts that we can create in Excel. Now in this first video, I'll be focusing on the chart which is known as cluster column chart. So let us see practically what is this cluster column chart and also before that we will see that what is cluster column chart, what are its advantages, disadvantages, what are its uses. So in every video I'll be talking about this theoretical topic and then I'll also show you practically how we can create the different kind of charts. So let us start with the cluster column chart. So here I'm in a new Excel file which is known as charts. So in these charts Excel file, I've created various sheets over here. So we'll start with this cluster column chart. So here I'm having one small data set where we are having the different kind of products. Then we are having the revenue for let's say 2020 or 2021. Now before we create the cluster column chart, let us see the theoretical part. What is a cluster column chart or column chart in Excel? A column chart displays data using vertical bars. So as you know that we are having a cluster column chart and we are also having clustered bar chart. So column charts are always vertical bars while the bar charts are always horizontal. So in the clustered column chart, it always displays the data using the vertical bars. Each bar height corresponds to the value it represents. So whatever the height of that bar is there, it is showing you that particular value for that particular category. Excel offers different kinds of column charts. So we are having cluster column chart, stake column chart, 100% stake column chart, and 3D column chart. So we'll see one by one all these different kinds of column charts. Now use of column charts. So column charts are useful when you want to compare the different categories. So normally it is used for the comparing the different categories. Let's say I want to compare the sales by region or expenses by department. Yeah. So normally for comparison purpose, we use the column chart. It shows the changes over time also. So I can also take, let's say, years or months or quarters and I can see that, OK, over a period of time, how much change we have got in the sales or profit or any other numerical value. It highlights the variations in data. Differences in column height make it easy to spot high and low value. So whenever we see the different heights, so it is very, very easy for us to see that which is having higher value, which is having lower value. Fourth one, it displays the discrete data that is non-continuous. So useful for showing categorical comparison. Let's say I want to compare the region sales or I want to compare the country profit, etc. Then we go for this column chart. It presents the group data. So clustered columns allow comparison within and across the groups. Example, sales of multiple products over months. So I can see these different products over a period of time. Now we see the advantages of column chart. So the first major advantage of column chart is it is easy to understand. So it is a very, very simple representation of the data. So here it says that even non-technical audiences can interpret quickly. Yeah, even a school going boy also can say that, okay, this value is higher, this value is lower. So it is very easy to understand. Good for comparisons. It makes it very clear which category is higher or lower that we already discussed. Works well with small to medium data set. Ideal for 3 to 12 categories. So if you are having, let's say, around 3, 4 categories, 5 categories, 7 categories, yeah, or maximum 12 categories, then that is very, very ideal. If you have more number of categories, then it will be very difficult to see in the column chart. It highlights the trends. Yeah, useful for showing increase or decrease over a period of time. As I've said that if you want to see the sales over a period of time or profit over a period of time, then you can definitely use this column chart. It is versatile. It can be combined with line chart, combo chart for deeper insights. So I'll also show you in another video a topic which is known as combo chart. So in combo chart, normally we take the column chart and the line chart in one chart. Now the disadvantages of column chart. The first disadvantage here, it is mentioned that it becomes cluttered with too many categories. Too many columns or series make it hard to read. So whenever we are having more than, let's say, 10 to 12 or 15 categories, then it is very, very difficult to read that column chart. So ideally, you should have uh, what I mentioned in the advantages here that ideally you should have between 3 to 12 categories. Not ideal for large data set. If there are many time periods or categories, the chart looks cramped. 
Yeah, so that is in continuation with the first point. So when we are having lot of period, let's say we are we want to see the data for let's say 50 years, then it is very very difficult to see it in a column chart. Hard to compare very small differences. Small variations in height may not be noticeable. So whenever the height differences are very very less then it is very very difficult to identify in column chart i'm not saying that we cannot do it but yeah it is very very difficult to analyze that small differences in the column chart not suitable for continuous data see for continuous data normally we use the line chart or scatter plot stake column can be hard to interpret it becomes difficult to compare individual components across categories so stake column chart we'll see in further video these are the advantages disadvantages the uses of a clustered column chart yeah you can say column chart also you can also say clustered column chart both are same now here let us start creating the clustered column chart so what i'll do here that first of all let me select here this whole table and then if you want to create a column chart then you have to go to the insert tab in the insert tab you can see that here we are having all the charts okay we are having here a special section known as charts we can see here the different kind of column and bar chart then this is the line and area chart here we will see the pie or donut chart then this is our tree map here we are having the histogram box and whiskers chart this is a scatter chart yeah so here these are all these charts available now if you want to create a clustered column chart we have to go to this button here in the insert tab click this button so here we can see the 2d column chart 3d column chart 2d bar chart 3d bar chart so let's say if i select this first one clustered column chart so i select this clustered column chart and now your chart is ready so here i can see for every products what was the revenue in 2020 and 2021 and i can compare here now let's say if you don't want to see both the years here you want to see only one year so what you can do you can select these two columns only here yeah you can go to the insert tab click this arrow button and then you click on this clustered column chart so here it will show you only this our data for 2020 and you can also modify this one if i select this one and if i don't want to see the data of revenue 2021 i can select this chart and now i can go to this tab known as chart design in the chart design i can click on this select data and now in the select data i can see this dialog box so here i can see the two revenues 2020 and 2021 if i don't want to see 2021 i can select this one i can remove and now i'm having only the revenue 2020 these are all my product categories i click on ok button and now you see that this chart has changed so this is how we can modify a chart now in the next video i'll be showing you the two tabs over here for each of the chart so we are having here the chart design tab and the format tab so we'll discuss further in the next video so see you then. Thank you very much.